What's up, everybody? We are the CNN of Arc Age, bringing you everything you need to know about costume synthesism. This is a very crazy complex system, but it doesn't have to be that hard to do. You can actually put any costume that you want on to a, a costume canvas that gives you specific stats. The image items are no longer destroyed once you change images so if you're familiar with fusing costumes in the past, every time that you fused a new costume image onto the item, you lost the old one forever. With the new system is you can extract them. It does cost a little bit of gold, but it is a good, good system. It's a good change from just constantly destroying your old costumes. So take a look at the beginning here. They gave us a great guide on the official forms, but it's always nice to see it in action. So. First off, there's three different ways to get a 200 prestige, Mirage Isle for 200 Gilda, or 100 loyalty tokens. Those are the three ways to get it. So let's take a look at the game here. And we can pull up the marketplace. You see it comes in the award section. And here are all the costumes. So you got a melee basic costume, a ranged basic costume, a magic basic costume, and then a healing basic costume. Generally, you're going to get stats around that type of that archetype for your character. They're not going to be perfect stats. You're seeing a lot of, uh, you know, whining and complaining on the official forms as the first couple stats are pretty terrible bad for most of these costumes, especially uh, the healing one I'm hearing. But yeah, it's supposed to get better. Who knows? We only got up to heroic status right now. Later on, they'll go all the way up to mythic status. The next thing you need to do is so you purchase one of these guys. And now you need to level it up with these Synthium Stones and Vivid Synthium Stones for Rare to Arcane. So first you're going to need the basic ones. You can either get them from Loyalty right here, 15 Loyalty Tokens for the, the Clear one and 25 for the Vivid. Or you can get them from Coin Purses, Safes, and World Bosses up in Auroria. One of the best ways to get them also is not even listed on their kind of FAQ is you can do greater dungeons and the bosses in there actually drop these guys at a decent rate. So greater dungeons are probably the best way to get the Synthium Stones and they're quite expensive right now. The prices will decrease as the demand for them decreases. Right now, very first day, everyone is going batshit crazy about this stuff and they want to have costume stats gold for a shard so be careful these are the ones that come out of the coin purses you need 10 of these guys to make a stone and you need a couple stones you need two stones to start the you know ev uh, the exp process so the, the full stones drop out of the blue and green coin purses and also the world bosses As you can see, it's quite expensive. Again, this is day one. The, the prices are already starting to come down. Day one, you can see, day one, you see, they started off really, really high. The highest was 249. The lowest was 64. The average came out to around 120 gold. The prices are already in a sharp decline. The next day, they've already dropped about 50% in value, ranging from 50 to 150 gold, and averaging around 85 gold. A lot more have been picked up at the cheaper price and expect the price in these guys to drop significantly until the next update when the price will jump back up as you're able to increase the costume higher up in the rarities. Unfortunately, uh, these basic ones probably won't see much increase in value because they're only used for basic to grand levels. So these guys, eventually their value is going to bottom out and tank. The vivid ones we'll see an increase in values because they go all the way up to arcane. So rare to arcane. So as the next update happens and we are able to upgrade our basic stat costume higher, expect these guys to increase in value. So you can see the same kind of downward trend as we saw in the first one. It's going to be downward, 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 and then it's going to slope, and then it's going to jump back up towards that update. As you see here, it's very similar to the guild cloak where you're going to have your costume, you're going to put in these materials, and they're going to gain EXP. As you go up, you're going to get stats. 
every time you level up, you're going to gain a stat. And you're going to be able to reroll the stat if you don't want it. So if you keep the current one, you're going to keep that one. You'd like that stat, keep it. If not, click on it, and it's going to reroll that stat for you. And you can click on the icon right there, and it'll bring up a list of possible stats that you can get. As you increase the costume in rarity, you're going to be getting better stats for your class. The first couple three, as we touched on in the beginning, are pretty shitty for most classes. And the chances of getting a good, you know, three stats are really, really low. They've also added some new stats that no one has ever heard of yet that are called, like, back, back, back rage, backstab ranged, backstab magic attacks. Things like that, which means, supposedly, that if you attack an opponent from behind, they're going to do more damage with that bonus stat. So there's a lot of things in this update that, even Trine World isn't fully aware of yet. We are learning as we go. So that's about the costume and the stats. But the next thing is you want to actually put your item on the costume. So say you want to look like this funky costume dude. You want this to be your costume forever or even temporary. Change the appearance at will. The items that you need are very much the same as before but you find them in different locations before fusion amlek used to be bought off of the marketplace now it's a direct purchase on the npcs for 20 gold so you could still buy it off of other players i do know do not think you could buy it off a of marketplace store anymore so now it's a flat 20 gold you need to pick up one of these guys right click it and now you go over to a costume, and it's going to turn it into an image item. You click confirm. It makes a boom. Turns it into an image item. Now this, you can actually fuse on to your costume. To fuse on your costume, it's really simple. You just go right down here to the item fusion button. Click on it, and it brings up your inventory. So right here, we have our stat item and our image item. We don't have the actual costume stat item that we need because I don't actually go and kill mobs or do things like that in Arc Age anymore. So there's no point in me getting it. But this is what you do. You put both, both items in here. The stat costume would go in here. And then the image item that we created will go into the other slot and it will become a fused costume. If you want to take that item off, that appearance off, you go to the NPC, the very last page, there's an extraction emblem. You pick this up for 100 gold, and you can now extract this image off of that costume. So if you want to look like a different costume, you can, but it's going to cost you 100 gold. The other thing is your costume stats are only active for 30 days. In order to reenact the stats, you got to wash your costume with the soap. The soap comes from the NPC as well, and it costs 120 gold. That's the basis of the costume Synthium system, and it is potential to change, subject to change, as there's been a lot of negative feedback on this right now, pricing and drop rates and things like that. So the system is different from other regions. We have a customized system that Try and Worlds kind of work together with Excel Games to make this system. It is not the same kind of system that Korea has or China or Russia or anyone else. So, again, it is subject to change. If you have any questions about this, post them down below. Again, you can get the base costume for Guild of Stars, for loyalty tokens, or for, um, you know, guild quests. Or for prestige points. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button.